Today, we will configure Direct Admin Daily Backup. By default, Direct Admin uses gzip compression, which is okay, but I will recommend you to enable ZSTD compression, which is better than gzip in terms of space and performance. That is, it will use less space and less time to generate backup. Now, to enable ZSTD compression, SSH to server as root user. Then, go to the Direct Admin folder. Now, run the command dot slash Direct Admin set zstd1 and it's done now run dot slash direct admin set backup underscore gz2 and you are done zstd compression is now enabled for backup now log into direct admin as you can see i am already logged in now go to menu admin and under admin tools click on admin backup slash transfer at the current moment i don't have any backups configured here so let's schedule a backup click on schedule there are many options here i want to backup all users so i will choose that option click on next the default option is now it will run the backup only once after configuration but we want daily backup so we will select cron schedule it will open up a form to configure a unix cron unix cron is a separate topic i will not cover it here i will leave a link to the wiki page in the description below you can read it if you don't know about crons now the default cron is set to run daily at 5 am i will change it to 1 am so backup will run daily at 1 am now if you want weekly backups then you can set this day of week option by default it's star that means backup will be generated daily here you can set a value between 0 to 6 0 will be sunday 1 will be monday 2 will be wednesday and so on and the last 6 will be saturday so if you want to generate a backup on sunday set it to 0 and if you want a backup on saturday then set it to 6 if you want backup on tuesday then set it to 2 now if you want backup on both tuesday and wednesday then add a comma and set the number 2 comma 3 that will be tuesday and wednesday i want backup to run on all days so i will set it to star now click on next here is the where option that is where should we store the backup here you have local and ftp i will choose local so backup will generate locally on the server now the backup folder path will be slash home admin admin backups you can change it if you want i will leave it to default now the next setting is append which is very important if you want to retain multiple backups this setting will create a new folder under backup folder and backups will be generated in that new folder let's go back to ssh to understand it better i will clear the screen let's go to backup folder which is slash home admin admin backup at the current moment there are no backups here whenever backup will run it will create a separate backup file for each user so for admin user it will create a file called admin dot tar dot zstd for smp user it will create a file called smp user dot tar dot zstd now when the backup will run next time it will just override these files so you will only have one backup at a time but i want backup for all seven days so for that i will go back to the browser and set this option to day of week so what it will do is it will create a folder with the day name the next backup will run on sunday so it will first create a folder called sunday and the backup will be generated in this sunday folder and when the backup will run on monday it will create a new folder called monday and the backup files will be generated in the monday folder and it will go on till saturday and when the next to next sunday comes it will override the backup in this sunday folder so this way you will have backup for all seven days now let's go back to the browser and check other settings now the other options are day of month this will create a folder called 010203 and generate the backup in that folder so you will have 30 or 31 back backups depending on how many days are there in that month now if you select week of month then it will create a folder called week 1 week 2 week 3 and generate backup in that folder with this option you will have four backups one for each week and if you select month then you will only have one backup per month and with the full data option it will just generate unlimited backups we want daily backups so we will set it to day of week now click on next here you will have option to choose what you want to backup by default it will backup all the data but if you want to skip something then you can choose selected data and if you don't want to backup databases then you can uncheck that if you don't want to backup emails then you can uncheck that but i want everything so i will go with all data now click on schedule and we are done so if we go back to admin backups you will see the schedule here that is backup at 1 a.m in future if you want to restore a backup then you can click on this restore option and restore the backup and that's all for today have a great day